Why to use containers? In the modern web design, there are usually two types of pages, long read articles and web pages. If you read a long text, for example, news, blog post, or any other long read content, that usually takes the whole sheet width and height than it is an article. Unlike articles, the text in web pages never takes the whole sheet width, stretching for 50% of a sheet or even less. Such texts are used in home pages, landing pages, one page designs, advertising, and information pages. In this demo, we will talk about this type, web pages. In the modern layouts, since the text in sections or pages is not dropped somehow, it is the common practice to combine or to group texts and graphic elements. Containers are usually used for that. If there are several groups in a row, then the grid with cells is used. Watch the demo on the responsive modes to see how to use grids. If there is only one group, we recommend to use the container instead of the grid. What is the container? In the modern websites, texts are never placed by themselves. The container is a control which groups several elements, like headings, texts, icons, buttons, lines, and shapes. What can you do with the container? The elements in the container can be moved and modified. Since the container is a block, it is very convenient to work with it while building websites. You can move the container as a single unit or can change its dimensions. The benefit of the container is very obvious for the responsiveness for the mobile views. As for smaller screens, the container adapts inner elements automatically to fit the screen width. In nice page, the container control is fully used in the pre-designed sections. As a rule, the hero or introduction sections and some other styles do not use the grid. We use the container to group elements. Containers are also used in titles in sections with the grid. Now let's see how containers are used. Add a container. Select Add Container or press the C hotkey. Let's add elements. You can add text elements either via the Add menu or by clicking the small plus at the top right corner of the selected container. Also, you can use the hotkeys which you can find in the Add menu to the right. Add Heading to, Text, and Button. Let's also add an icon. Click Add Icon or press the I hotkey. In the dialog, enter Idea into the search field. Select this icon. To change the element order, select the element. In the Element toolbar, click the up and the down arrows or press Ctrl with up down arrows to switch the element order. Move the icon over all other elements in the container. To add an element after the current one, select this element then add a new one via the Add menu. Click Add Text Subtitle. To modify the subtitle, add more text into the text element. You see that this element and the container grow down automatically. The container also grows while adding more controls. Change the container height and width by pulling the markers on the container borders. There are several operations available for the selected container in the right panel. It is very easy to add the common background under the container elements. Enable the Fill in the Right panel. Change the background color. Move the element. Drag the element out and then drag it back into the container. While moving in and out, you see the tooltip showing where the element is placed. Align the elements with the magnetic guides that are very handy as always. Also use the Auto Align in the right panel. Select the container and click the Align buttons to align elements horizontally and vertically. It is also very easy to modify the inner space of the container. Add horizontal padding by clicking and pulling the left orange marker to the right and the right one to the left. Add spacing between elements. Click and pull the orange marker at the top of the text element. All elements placed below the current one are also moved. Isn't that nice? What happens with the container elements in the mobile views? Note again, the main benefit of using the container is that most times you do not need to do any additional settings for the inner texts in their responsive modes. With this, we are finishing our presentation about the container. We do hope you have enjoyed it. Click the link in the description to try NicePage yourself. Also click like and subscribe for more videos that will help you to improve your web design skills. Leave comments on how we can improve our demos and NicePage in general. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.